Hello and welcome to this edition of Kid Zone, the Christian education moment designed for the entire family. This month we are celebrating Women's History Month and honoring the contributions and the great outstanding and stellar work that women have contributed to our world. And particularly we will look at women in the Bible and how they teach us great things about how our relationships with God should be structured, what we can learn about them through strengthen our faith, and cool things that we should always pull out to help us become better people each and every day. Have you ever thought about what it means to be able to understand the goodness of God? Can you complete this for me? God is good and God is good all the time. Well, our first woman in the Bible that we want to study and recognize today is Miriam. Miriam was the sister of Moses and Aaron and had known about Moses' story his entire life. She was there from the beginning and understood the fact that Moses had a particular calling and purpose on his life. Miriam is known to be a cheerleader, a praise leader in the Bible. In the book of Exodus, right when the parting of the Red Sea, she is there as a first-hand witness of what God is doing and what God is, how God is moving the people um, from Egypt into the Promised Land. And as they are navigating through the Red Sea, Miriam is there and she is thanking God for what God has done. Miriam was known to not just do this then, but also throughout her entire life. She is always giving God praise and recognizing the goodness of the Lord. Um, when those um, were worried and didn't know exactly what they were going to do, Miriam was the one who encouraged women to find something to thank God for, to think and remember, and to focus on the goodness of God. When we think about the goodness of God, it does something to us and it causes us to reflect and to give praise unto God. Well, what is praise? Praise is when we thank God, when we think about God and we allow those um, our thoughts to then transform into our actions, whether through our words or through our bodies and movements, or even in the ways how we live, we honor God because God has been so good to us. I want you right now to, as we are finishing this story, to continue writing down all the things that you are thankful for about the goodness of God. How has God been good for you in your life? Well, the other thing about Mir Miriam's story that we should also glean from is that Every now and then, we also deal with human issues that causes us sometimes to think things that may not always be so positive. During the story, um, Moses' his sister Miriam and his brother Aaron find themselves grumbling and complaining against Moses. They weren't complaining so much about God, but they was complaining about Moses' leadership. They stopped focusing on what God was already doing in the hand of God on Moses' life that they were thinking more about their, their, their own selves. Mo, uh, Miriam wondered why she wasn't the leader, why she wasn't the one in control. And it started, her, started to cause some friction in the relationship between Moses and Miriam. That God um, actually punished Miriam for her disobedience to what God was saying at the time. And she had leprosy. She had to distance herself from her community for a while. But the, what happens is that Moses still prayed for Miriam and prayed for her healing. And God did heal her. Well, this is not to beat up on Miriam at all. But Miriam helps us to understand that when we lose our focus from God, that there are consequences that happens in our lives. But what Miriam's life also teaches us is the purpose of who we are, is that we were born to praise. Miriam understood that belief and that purpose, and even though she may have fell and come short, she remembered that her purpose was greater than what her own personal desires may have been. That sometimes when we choose to focus on something else and take the focus off of God, that we too will make mistakes and we will fall and stumble. We may not be our best selves, 
but God gives us grace. God gives us another chance. And because of that, that's another reason to praise God. So maybe you have had a rough week. It doesn't mean you're a bad person. Maybe you have made some mistakes. You may not have done your chores. Or you may not, have, may not have been as kind to your friends. You've stopped doing the things that you are supposed to do as good Christians and those who love God. Well, it's not too late to remember who God is in your life. Remember God for what God is doing right now. Did God wake you up? Did God start you today? Did God provide food on your table? Is God providing a shelter over your head? Is God still making a way out of no way, even when things are bad? Well, my brothers and sisters, both young and old, we all can remember to have a heart of thanksgiving and to focus our minds on God and give God the praise because God is good. All right, that's all I have for you today. Thank you and celebrating women all month long. Um, if you see a woman today, tell her you appreciate her. And if you don't see her, call a woman today and let her know how grateful you are for her being alive and well in your life. All right, that's all we have today. God bless you, God keep you, and we'll see you again next time.